two weeks off school are desperately desperately needed by everyone and what I want you to be doing and I'm sure it's what you want to be doing as well is that you know I really hope you get a chance to go to cinema to hang out with your friends to sleep in as late as you want but I know that a lot of you are not going to be doing that because I know for a lot of you school is basically going on as normal over these two weeks so um Let's talk about what we can do to make our lives a bit better. If you do get the chance for a day off school, then please take advantage of it. Please sleep in as late as you want, go outside to the park and just have a day off. It is so, so important at the moment that you give yourself a break, that you do not spend every single waking hour revising. Because you guys are doing a lot of revision at the moment and just doing hours and hours and hours isn't necessarily the best thing that you can be doing. We need to be revising at the moment. We need to focus on revising smarter, not longer. If you are in school please try and remember that your teachers have given up that holiday as well. They are not being paid extra for this so please be kind to your teachers. Um, if you would like to suddenly become the most popular people in your class get together with a few good friends, each chip in 50p each and go to Tesco's or Sainsbury's or weather and buy big box of biscuits for like two or three pounds and then share them around. A little bit of extra sugar boost when you've had to get out of bed during the holiday in the morning and potentially it can be really really sunny outside it's always going to be appreciated and welcome or get organizing set up a little cake rotor amongst your friends it will make a big difference in your revision time at home you need to focus on doing as many practice papers as you can either the predictive papers i've got for you on my website for um science geography maths or past exam papers that you've managed to download from the exam boards. It is not a great idea to use old specification exam papers, there are too many changes, but for things like maths you can use different specification exam papers. For example, if you're doing AQA, go to the Edexcel website and do the Edexcel papers because the maths specifications are so, so similar that you can use other exam boards papers. Do as many practice papers, do as many workbooks, questions, and then looking at the answers and comparing your answer to like an exam board answer is really, really gonna be the best way that you can improve over these last few weeks. And it is a last few weeks, so I'm not gonna be asking you to do things like make timetables, but what you can do is just open up your book to the contents page and make sure you've ticked off everything in that book. We don't really have a lot of time left to make flashcards, so I've made a load for you and put them up on my website. Lots of ones for science, lots of ones for language, which is Spanish and French as well. All of those are going to be brilliant, brilliant revision for you. The main thing that I want for you, if I had one wish that I could give to everyone in the country, is that when you walk into that exam, you are feeling calm and you are feeling confident. That when you open up that exam paper, you recognise the questions because you've put the work in, because you've done so many practice questions in practice papers, predictive papers, in workbooks, that you recognise the questions and you know what the mark scheme answer looks like. That you're not stressed, that you're not worried, that you are calm and confidence. That the night before your exam you're looking after yourself, you're not staying up till all hours cramming because you didn't put the hours in over the Easter holiday. We are so close to the end. It is important that you get enough sleep. Do not stay up for hours um, revising and then sleep really late in the morning. Sleep really late in the morning because you deserve a break. Go out with your friends because you deserve a break but you do have to acknowledge that now is the main bulk of your revision. Feeling confident when you walk into the exams is only gonna happen 
if you use these two weeks wisely. If you're looking after yourself, your physical health and your mental health. If you're making sure you're eating properly and sleeping properly and doing things to relieve stress. Whether that's meditating, whether that's going out for a run or whether it's taking the dog for a walk. That you've put in sensible time with predicted papers, practice papers, workbook questions. That you do a few questions, then you mark them, then you move on to a different subject. That you're having regular breaks that you haven't worked so hard that you are burnt out by the time it comes to the exams so good luck guys i'm going to be here with you every single step of the way i'm working just as hard as you are i am not going to stop until you do together we will get through this i promise ouch this is why in some videos i have unexplained scratches <laughs>